Hello, hola, привет! We're in Bryce Canyon, Utah! Stunning, absolutely stunning greenery the moment you enter. It's beautiful. On the way, so many cows. Garrovi. And we're off again. Utah is beautiful. So green, so many cows. Russian word for the day, Korova, cows. So many sunflowers as well. It's, it's beautiful out here. I hear it gets colder in the winter. We just stopped at a, a gas station with full service. Great food. <laughs> I'm a little foodie, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'll show you around. So here we have the mountains. This is the 15 freeway. Oh, Korova! Or Korovi. One, Karova. Two, or more, Karovi. If you guys want to know how to do your hair out on the road, let me tell you, because this is really cute. Um, I purchased one of these, and because it's so darn hot, all I had to do was, after I got out of the shower today, our campsite had a shower. Recommended. So, oh, let me just get into that one. So we woke up this morning, we made tea, we ate breakfast, we went in the jacuzzi, uh, the pool was too cold for me. I got this hairstyle was after the shower I light, I didn't make my braids very tight. I lightly braided it. I got one of these and while we started driving off I was able to just curl my bangs using this. So it's kind of like a cold blow dry. And now my hair is like just naturally curled. Lit. Cute. A lake! <laughs> Such a pretty road! Well, I mean, they're constructing it, but who doesn't love trucks? Kids go too crazy over trucks. Go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, because I don't know. After being a Montessori teacher, I swear, I see an airplane, I have to point it out. I'm like, airplane! <laughs> There's no kids around. <laughs> like, I just look like a crazy person pointing out airplanes and trucks. <laughs> but you know, there's nothing wrong with still having like the child in you come out because that's fun. Where did we where did we go wrong? Where it's like we have to hide all these crazy emotions we have inside, right? Showing the mountains. Look how green that is. I am not in Bryce Canyon right now. I am in Florida. We made it. I'm in my new home, in my new office. But I want to tell you what happened because Utah was awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. We got there. We were looking for a campsite. Mind you, we are going to be there for two nights. These are, this is the last of my interrupted journey. We have to turn around and go back out. We can't find any campground. We could find campground, we couldn't find any available campgrounds. We make it outside of the park into an RV slash campground. We get vouchers to go down the street and we get ourselves something to eat. This 
RV park was absolutely awesome. They had a jacuzzi, a lake, showers. <laughs> uh, if you guys have never been camping, or if you have gone camping, you know how awesome it is to have showers at a campground. <laughs> Especially if you're there for a long time. Uh, actually, the Grand Canyon was my second time ever camping. So this, and then we tried again in Lake Powell. We all know how that went. And now we're in Utah Bryce Canyon. But this time, this time we're by a lake. There's a pool, there's a jacuzzi, and there's showers. And down the street, <laughs> literally, I can even probably, I wouldn't walk there, but you can like drive there, you can ride a bike there. Uh, a lot of people we saw on their little, what are they called? Like the four by fours? Uh, ATVs. So really cool, really cool place. Beautiful. I can't stress this enough. Bryce Canyon was beautiful. It really was. Make it down here if you ever get down to the United States. Try Utah Bryce Canyon. Try Arizona, the Grand Canyon, Lake Powell. Maybe I gotta do it again. <laughs> as you saw in my previous video, it didn't go as planned. And I never did get to go swimming, so I was really excited about Bryce Canyon having a swimming pool. I'm so sorry. That's actually why I'm here. I didn't vlog a lot. I had a big camp. Well, I don't even know where the camera is now. Oh, no, sorry. I know, I keep saying I'm going to do better. It gets a little bit better along the way. Hopefully, New Mexico. Let's see how that one goes. I'm, hopefully, I don't have to keep popping in like this. But hello. <laughs> here I am again. Our inspiration of Point View, where the canyons are known for their bright red colors caused by the iron and oxygen that makes it cor corrode and make our beautiful um, windows. So I'll go ahead and give you a full panorama view. we're looking at here is Bryce Canyon National Park. All the way to the end you'll see the Aquarius Plateau and it's the largest plateau in all of North America. This is all part of the Colorado River. I believe so. I'll correct myself later if I'm wrong. But look at this red rock here. I'm telling you, these videos do not do it justice. Absolutely amazing. And the color pops. If you take a helicopter right across this, you'll be able to see shape of a rabbit and even a better shape of a crocodile. So before I was showing you uh, the red rocks, red rocks are caused by iron hitting oxygen, causing the corrosion and causing it to be red. Now the erosion of all the changes in the seasons are making the nice windows that we see ahead too. I was able to catch some wildlife. We have little chickmunks all around us. <laughs> Hello, reporting to you live from Bryce Canyon, Utah. We're on the Peekaboo Trail. Right up below us, you can see our beautiful red structures that have been oxidized and was once made of iron. And now we're erod corroding and creating these beautiful markings, creating um, various tunnels, or we can call them windows. But isn't it amazing? My goodness. This walk is about three hours long, but six hours 
back and forth. So, enjoy the ride. We went on a hike and this hike was absolutely breathtaking. I mean, right when you get into the center, it looked like something out of a fairy tale because these beautiful red canyons or red structures, I should say, kind of like, they tower over you, leaving the shadow that leaves just like a beautiful, perfectly aligned forest with a little stream going down the center. So pretty, so pretty. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna stop saying how beautiful this place was because it really was. It's hot and I'm not over exaggerating. It's like 80 to 100 degrees out here in Utah Bryce Canyon. We're right in the middle of the canyon and we're gonna go, well, we thought we were gonna go to like Peekaboo Bend, right? That was the idea because that was only gonna be a three mile hike. Um, think again, Miss Bianca from the past because that's not what happened at all. We actually took, so we didn't get lost, but everybody was taking this Peekaboo Bend trail. And I know why, because it was the shortest one, which was three miles. And we we're like, you know what sounds even better than that? And we were professional hikers, right? <laughs> we're gonna go down to Queen's Garden, because that sounds awesome. We even found like a bench area where we can just relax, drink whatever water bottles we had. Each of us carrying like five water bottles in our backpacks. Um, oh, so beautiful. Let me try to remember it. Now, Queen's Gardens was absolutely beautiful. Something straight out of a fairy tale where these red, huge structures were towering over us. A perfect beeline of trees and a beautiful, like a nice little creek that follows alongside. I did take photos, and but I was did not take any videos for you guys, and I'm so sorry. I did try inserting the videos or photos here they're just not the right size and they're not gonna look right so i'm here to tell you that they were so beautiful <laughs> and if you do want to see them i can always insert them into my instagram feed let me know in the comments down below if you do want to see that um queen's garden beautiful trail very long trail very long trail uh, did you guys, well, you guys did see, actually, because it was not too long before. <laughs> Alright, the clip that I show you, uh, Inspiration Peak. That's what Kayleen's Island kind of looked like. It, it might, I don't know. Is it the same? After Inspiration Peak, we drive further inside, and we did get to this, uh, where, where I say like, oh, it's Peekaboo Bend. There are, um, there are on the, on the signs it says, like, this is gonna be a 16 mile hike, a three mile hike, however it is. So we saw Queens, Queens Island was definitely for professionals and people who had plenty of time to spare, which we did. We had plenty of time because we were gonna stay in Bryce Canyon for two nights. Okay, so you saw Inspirational Peak earlier where I was explaining the beauty of the Red Rocks. Well, this was like kind of like going through it. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this, but it kind of looked like we were going through that on the ground, and it was so cool. Like, so if you saw my previous video, the Grand Canyon, you know how the road is just like so narrow, so it's only like really one person could go this way, one person could go that way. We get to this point, right, and we're we kind of lock eyes with another couple. We're like oh my god, like, how are we gonna let them pass? How are we gonna pass? As soon as we locked eyes, this poor girl loses her hat. It goes flying with the wind into, into the canyons. But there's, like, this little, like, I want to say, like, the slide area. <laughs> I'm, I'm so mad that I didn't get this on video. I really, really wish I could be doing a better job for you guys. And there's no way of me going back. I was in Utah and Florida now. But so anyway, so we lock, so we lock eyes with this girl, and her hat goes flying off, and 
there's like somewhat of a ledge and some more of these structures before it like goes all the way down she goes down and she gets that hat i don't know how much that hat was worth it was cute it was a very cute hat <laughs> but she actually goes down and <laughs> even her partner's like looking at her like are you really gonna do it but she does she was able to get it thank goodness the, um, the wind was really strong it was really hot it was like 80 to 100 degrees out i even got to the point where i was like rolling up my cargo pants and we did have to take a few stops along the way there was this really nice like it's somewhat of a cave i did get videos of that but um again they're not the right size i think it was my, it might have been like the one by one for instagram and i did share it on my instagram stories but uh if you guys want to see that again i didn't put it on my feed but i can always add it back to my stories if you uh well you comment down below let me know and uh, i don't know i'll tag you or something in my stories so you can see it so when you do comment down below that you want to see it, add your Instagram and I'll follow you and then I'll tag you in my story so you can see it again. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> um, so we do, we like, we rest on these benches. It's beautiful because it over, looks like a little cliff into the forest with that creek that I was talking about. And, but that was really funny. That was really funny to see this girl. Like we lock eyes. We're like, oh my God, how are we gonna pass each other on this little walkway? And then all of a sudden, like her hat's like <laughs> into into the canyons. And luckily, luckily there was just like that little edge that you could probably well, obviously she was able to like go down and catch her hat. But even her partner looked at her like, you're crazy. You're gonna go get a hat. But she did. She successfully got the hat, came back up, and that time we were able to like cross paths. It really was, I don't even know how to explain. You really, you don't, I mean, unless you live somewhere where there, there's anything like this. See, I, I live in this, well, I lived in the city. Now I kind of live in more of like a rural place, which was a point, but I grew up my entire life in the city. So to be surrounded by all this nature this past week in Grand Canyon, then to Lake Powell, then to even, even Arizona was like kind of just like dry flat land. Now getting into Utah and seeing like these beautiful red structures of rocks, I feel like that TikTok, um, I don't know if it's TikTok or it's Instagram, but it's like that voiceover where it's like rocks, look at all these rocks. Oh my God, I love rocks. If I go to the beach, I'm collecting rocks. If I'm going here, I'm collecting rocks. I was told to stop doing that. <laughs> Not by like authority or anything, but I was told by my mother-in-law, my mom, both of them actually told me like, you can't be doing that because you can like attract spirits and then you're gonna have to go back and put them back where you found them. How am I supposed to know which one it was, right? Because I'm always... <laughs> but, um, we made it through this entirely beautiful, beautiful canyon with all these oxidized red rocks and structures. It's just, I don't know. It felt like a dream. It felt like a dream to be in all of this is what I was getting to because of the, just thinking back on it, I want, my eyes want water, I want to cry because it really is beautiful and you feel like you're in a dream and you're surrounded by all these rocks <laughs> that are just I don't even know how to explain it I don't know how to put it into words love rocks <laughs> and these are red and orange and yellow and even green and then you know, at some points you're surrounded by like a forest and you're just like, where, what, where did I end up? You know, just like how I'm in the Grand Canyon when all the wind is blowing, it's like, what planet are we on? <laughs> and it's like, it's here, it's planet Earth. God is absolutely amazing. Look at what he made us, it's so beautiful here. And the trip just gets better. The trip really does, it just gets better and better, you know? 
and I, even in the Grand Canyon, I thought that was like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I grew up, I want to say, okay, so I did grow up in the city, right? I said that. I grew up in the city and, but I also grew up by the ocean later on. So we just moved from the ocean. Now we're going to move. Actually, oh my gosh. So part one, <laughs> I say we're moving from state, from, let me see. In part one, I say we're moving cross country. And when I mean we're absolutely moving from the Pacific Ocean, we were, we lived right on the cliff of the, like by the ocean. We're now we're in the Atlantic Ocean and it's a five minute drive. So I live five minutes away <laughs> from the Pacific Ocean and now I live five minutes away from the Atlantic Ocean. That's really cool. And this trip just brought like a whole new perspective to me of what I've always wanted to go into every state of the United States. I mean, give or take, I'm only doing the bottom half this time. And it's beautiful and it just makes me want to see more. It really does, it makes me want to just see so much more. Every single day of this trip, I was crying. Not because I, you know, not because things always happen to me. Like part one, we, <laughs> we almost run out of gas and end up in the middle of the desert. Or part two, the Grand Canyon, I get a cactus stuck in my shoe and we end up in a rainstorm. Part three, I end up in a sandstorm. Part four, I kind of just forgot to vlog for you. <laughs> And it was so beautiful and I I kind of I think I might have just been like in a hunger mood and it's kind of sad because we were almost done with peekaboo bend and all of a sudden my husband's like no let's go down here to Queens Gardens and it happens to be like I don't know an extra 10 miles or something crazy <laughs> But I was so happy that I did and it felt so rewarding after I did because it was just so beautiful. It was like being at the bottom of Inspiration Peak, which I just showed you moments before. Like, ooh, what planet are we on? God's beautiful green earth. Oh my gosh. Because of the videos that I'm going to make after this, this is part three, four, I don't know anymore. And this is part four. So. But we're all, now Utah is like the last of our kind of, we're going to stop in Texas for a, a, a longer time, kind of like how we stopped here in Arizona and Utah, we're going to stop again in Texas. But from here, from Utah, we're going to go straight back in and we're going to go into New Mexico. And we had so many plans. We, we um, actually pinpointed a lot of places that we wanted to see, including places from uh, Breaking Bad. Unfortunately, they were either like on the other side of the, the state or they were closed down, but I definitely have more footage for you to come and I'm excited. I really am. The United States is really beautiful, at least the bottom half that we've traveled and I can't wait to do the rest of it and hopefully the world some days. I really hope you enjoyed and give me a thumbs up because I'm trying for you. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Comment your Instagram down below if you want to see some more photos from this trip because I definitely took so many photos and whatever I have on video I'm making for you here because I really want to share this experience with you. It's words can't even really, as you can see, I'm trying to like formulate these this experience in words, but it, real the real world out there is actually just an absolute dreamland. This is beautiful. Here I was actually able to see so many of these little chickmunks and they were so cute and hopefully I was able to insert something for you previously, but I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy with the trip that we had. And it gave me hope. It gave me hope for the future of traveling and I know that the world is so much bigger and 
even more beautiful than this and I can't wait to see it. So. Just checking in to show you what a badass I am. Uh, see that tower? Pa okay, past this boulder here. The one all the way over there. I did that. All the way down, all the way around, and over there. You're not gonna let me put it.